Hello, Chris Richter here. Welcome back to ricochet.com.au. What I want to do is quickly show you something that I learnt recently, which was frustrating me as a PHP programmer when I was trying to work out how to add a template to a block in Moodle. It was something I thought should be really simple, and it is actually simple, but I didn't quite know how to do it to start with. So here it is. This is for those PHP developers that are working on creating plugins or blocks for Moodle. So I have a block called the Ricochet block with some content and I've just added that to the dashboard at the moment. If I go into the code, you can see in the code here, I have my Ricochet demo block, which is fine. If I go into the block itself, you can see here, I have just the normal setup of what you would have in a normal block anyway. But the important thing is down here, and I'll just comment that out of the way for a sec, but normally, with a block, you have this dot content text equals some content, and that's quite simple. That's all you, you need to add. But I want to add a template instead. And my logic was, I just go output, render from template. I'd go and find the default template, which is in my templates folder. There it is there, default dot mustache. It's just got something called some text. I thought that would be simple and easy, but it doesn't work like that because a block doesn't render or send the text or content out through output. It does it quite differently. So what I had to do was use this line instead. This content text equals, and if I want to add it to the already established text that's in here, I can put a dot in front of it, or if I just want to replace that, I can get rid of all of that. And I can just say this content text equals output uh, using the render function, and I'm calling the block ricochet block, which is this template that's in here. So it should be block ricochet demo, calling the default template that's in here. And that's our default template. I think I showed you that, didn't I? That's our default template. Then I can send out an array to that. I better add that in, uh, just so you can send some information into the template if you need to as well. That's all I had to do was to change that output render from template. Do that, not how you normally would in any other plugin, but send that to the content text instead. Now, one thing I did forget to do as well, and that was up here in the global settings, you need to put output in there as well as a global setting. Otherwise it can't find output and it doesn't know what to do with that or how to render it. Once you've got all that and we save that, we can jump back to our page and see what it looks like. And at the moment it renders it now with a heading, which is what we had in there in our template, but we also had in our template uh, some text. So if we just want to add that some text, we can just go array some text equals hello and that will then carry that through into our template and render that as part of the template. Back over here again we can just reload the page again and we'll get a heading with hello and that's how we render a template inside a block. Hope you found that useful. I do have some courses on how to do some of this as well if you're new to PHP or interested or you're a PHP developer interested in Moodle. Check those out. They'll be in the comments there. Uh, there's a course on how to create plugins, how to create a block and also on how to create a child theme as well. So check those out. Otherwise I'll talk to you again very very soon. Hope that's been useful to you.